Hello and welcome to another Goliath guitar tutorial. My name is Gareth Evans and today we're going to be learning the song 4-5 Seconds by Rihanna featuring Kanye West and Paul McCartney. This is a fingerstyle acoustic solo percussive version of the song which means that all the instrumentation and the melody, the words, the singing, everything is all represented within one acoustic guitar piece. If you want to go and listen to the whole of this arrangement, um, like I've just played a snippet of for you there, you can click the link that's appeared on your screen now, the video that's playing, and you can go and check it out. Um, if your annotations are enabled, click the link. Otherwise, there's a link down in the description of this video for those of you guys who haven't got the annotations on. Uh, go check it out, see if you want to go to play it like I am doing now, and then you can come back here and learn it absolutely for free. If you want to just get hold of the tabs, you can click the link that's come on your screen now, or again, link down in the top of the description this time for those of you without annotations on. Go to my website, goliathguitartutorials.com, and download the tabs absolutely for free. As usual, as with everything else that I produce, everything is absolutely for free. If you are a fan of free guitar tuition, do me a huge favor and just smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. There's one of the things that you can do in return for me to produce these lessons for free. Um, all I ask of you is just give me a thumbs up. I... So last thing before I get started on the lesson is I want to talk to you about the strings that I use. These are Elixir strings. I use HD lights. Uh, that's the size that I use. Um, I've always used Elixir strings ever since I first tried them. For me, they are the best strings. The reason I like them is because the playability, how nice they feel, how long they last, and um, the tone that you get out of them. It does bring me great pleasure to be able to bring you this lesson in association with Elixir strings. Okay, enough talking now. Let's get on with the lesson itself. First thing you need to do is drop tune your sixth string, which is your thickest one. You need to down tune it to a D nose. Um, so that should sound like this. Okay. So once that's done, um, well, let's start looking at the tabs then. Bars one to four sounds like this. Um, something like that. So we start off here with um, pinch harmonics. Um, if you don't know how to do harmonics or pinch harmonics, you should probably go and practice this or learn this before you come here and play an advanced piece like this. But basically what you do, you, you touch your index finger directly above the 12th fret and with your thumb or the nail on your thumb, you play the same string. Right, we're doing the sixth string here. Okay, like that. So, because I just touched above the 12th string, directly above the metal, you could be too far forward or too far back and not get a good note. You need to be directly above the metal to get that note. Another reason why you're not getting that um, chiming sound is that you might leave your finger on too long and it makes the string dead. You deaden it before. You need to play it quick, play it and then quickly release your finger off the string um, to let it chime out. The last thing is your strings might be pretty old. If you've had your strings on for a good, good while, um, then uh, the sustain on your strings might be, um, might be quite short. Uh, that's the reason I use elixirs, they do last a long time and um, you don't have to change them quite so often. So that's why my strings sustain quite long. Okay, so you've got pinch harmonically on the sixth string, 12th fret, again on the fifth string, 12th fret, and then the fourth string, 12th fret. So you've got three in a succession. After that, um, with your little finger, you fret the 10th fret on the 1st string, you play it and slide down to the 5th fret, okay, like that. So all together we've got, after there, that sequence there, so you play the 5th the fret on the 1st string twice. And then you pull off, so you fret the second fret as well on the first string, but 
after you've played it the second time on the fifth string, on the fifth fret, you do that movement, so you play it, and then you pull off to that second fret. Okay, so with the previous note, okay, so we've got is. Okay, and last of all, after you've done the pull off, you come here. So again, second fret on the first string, third fret on the second string then, together as a pinch. Okay, so that's the whole of the first bar and some. Like that. Okay, and next to finish off bar two, we're looking at bar two now, if you're looking at the tabs. Um, halfway through, you've got another four pinch harmonics here. Got that sequence there. So you're starting off on the third string, 12th fret, and then fourth string, fifth string, and then third again. So it's three, four, five, three. In that order. Okay, so that's the first two bars. Let's play them both together. We should have this. Okay, I'll play that again once more. Okay, after that we're on to bar number three, it goes like this. Sorry, that was three and four together, and we might as well look at them in a, as a pair. So next, we've got three uh, kind of left hand tapping. Um, this is pretty difficult if you haven't done this before. You've got index finger taps into the second fret of the fifth string. Ring finger, into the 4th fret of the 4th string and then the little finger into the 4th fret of the 3rd string so that's 3 in quick succession there if you are struggling for finger strength on this you could just play them if you like like that but that's completely up to you, this is how I'll play it so after them 3 taps to finish off bar three, we've got this. So that's third fret on the second string, fifth fret on the second string, slide that up to seven. Okay. And then just a single note then on the seventh fret of the second string. Okay. So one note bar three. Okay, so bar four. So you've got open five. These two notes here, which are open first string and the sixth fret on the third string. And then we come to this shape, which is the 5th fret on the 2nd, 6th fret on the 3rd, which we were just there anyway. So if you've used your middle finger for that, it should be there in place already. Lastly, the 7th fret on the 4th string here. This shape, and you play 2, 3, 4 in that order. Okay, so we've got... Like that. That's bar 4. So bar three, bar four, and all together in one smooth movement. Something like that, okay? Okay, pause again then, but no matter. Well, what we're gonna do now is play bars one, through four all together and we'll see how we go on.
Okay, and that's it for the first uh, four bars. We're going to move on now to bars five through to eight. And uh, you'll be pleased to know five and six are exactly the same as one and two. Okay, so that's a replica of the first two bars. Next, we're moving on to bar number seven. And... That's seven and eight, sorry. So the first three notes from bar number seven, then first three taps are the same. Then you come to the fifth fret with your little finger of the second string. With the open fifth as a pinch, you slide that up to seven. You play that note there on the fifth fret of the first string. Okay. Next. That's next. So it's open six with the seventh fret on the second. You slide it down to the fifth fret, okay? And then to the third fret on the second, like that. Okay, so this whole sequence so far. Okay. And then after that, we come to the second fret on the third string as well as the third fret on the second, which you should already be on. And then you play, you play four, three, and then two. So it's like that. Okay, to play all of seven, eight together. Okay, so that completes bar seven and eight. Bars five and six with uh, what we just played, seven and eight. So five through eight should play like this. Okay, so that's it um, for the first eight bars. I'll play them all together for you now um, to recap what we've just done before we move on to the next part. Okay, two. Three, four. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please click that thumbs up button. And we're gonna move on to part number two. That's gonna be at my website, absolutely free, goliathguitartutorials.com. A link directly beneath me now on the screen in Lantation, if your Lantation's are enabled. Otherwise, top of the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. If you do wanna get hold of the tabs, they're there as well as uh, part two, three, and four, however long this lesson goes for. Goliathguitartutorials.com. Dot com. Next up, if you're looking for another way to support me bringing you these free lessons, you can head over to patreon.com. Patreon.com forward slash Gareth Evans is where my page is. Link on the screen directly below me in an annotation in the middle of the screen. Um, if you want to go and check out what kind of rewards you can get to be a monthly supporter or a monthly uh, pledger. Um, if your annotation is not enabled, as usual, top of the uh, description of this video. Um, lastly, find, out, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, links on the right hand side of your screen, as well as uh, on the bottom right, you'll see my links to my other two YouTube channels, Gareth Evans Extras and The Music Brew. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you very much for watching and checking out my video. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.